welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am your host as always, Rashid White. All right, let's get into this. Boy, 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 I do have a great show for you today. And there's a whole thing with this Kobe, this Kobe LeBron thing. I got to really chime in. And guess who we going out there today? You know it. You've seen the clown. Uh, picture on a thumbnail right there is going to be Dreamers Dreamers Pro over there, man. Dreamers, I don't know basketball. He doesn't know anything about basketball at all. At all. And listen, shout out to uh, the locker room for actually really going out there and exposing this clown over here. I thought I was the only one really doing it, but um, <clears throat> a shout out to the locker room for actually doing it. Let's get into this whole uh, Kobe Braun I'm like Kobe Bryant and LeBron James thing right there. So let's get into this video. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what Dreamers, uh, Carlton. I mean, Charles. I mean, he looks like Carlton from Fresh Prince. I keep, man, I keep just getting these two guys confused over here, man. <laughs> no. People voted. And I think that people are giving their opinion on what they think there is just the case. So I decided to do some research and I wanted to look at this thing because. You know, there are a lot of people that kind of throw out a lot of platitudes about this debate that, oh, LeBron is better than Kobe did. So I said, okay, let's look at it in a myriad of ways. Let's start, let's look at offense and defense, for example. Because one of the things I've heard, because Kobe Bryant averaged over 25 points a game for his, for his career, and LeBron is sitting around 27.1 or something like that for his career, right? Good. So people that read stats that don't watch basketball games that never saw really both of these guys playing their prime, they will say, well, LeBron is the better scorer because he averages more points. This is what they will say. All right. So I actually watched Kobe Bryant play and I actually watched LeBron James play. And I'm going to be as pragmatic as possible here because I'm, I'm a fan of neither of these two players. My favorite player of all time is Jason Kidd. And I responded with, you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. The reason you see Kobe's numbers in terms of his overall points per game less uh, lower than LeBron is for this very simple reason. It's not because LeBron is a great, better scorer than Kobe. He's not. It's not even close. It's not. It's, it's actually nowhere near being close. If you believe that LeBron is as good as score as Kobe, it means you, one, I'm I'm almost 100% certain you've never seen Kobe Bryant play in his prime. At all. Alright, we get it. Kobe Bryant is a better scorer. Like, he's definitely much more skilled than LeBron James. Definitely. I mean, footwork, uh, post moves, uh, like, shot create, creation, like, really, 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 like, making tough shots. I mean, Kobe is that man. I mean, he's definitely, definitely got that over LeBron. But listen, let me ask you guys something over there. For all you Kobe Bryant fans, and I actually want you to be real. I want you to be real. I want you to take the emotions out, okay? No emotions. If you start in your team up, let's say you're going to put a, t a team together man, over the last 40-something years, you can pick any player that you actually want. Yeah, you know Michael Jordan is actually going to be first. So number two will be LeBron James. If you had a choice to actually start a team between LeBron James or Kobe Bryant, you're going to pick LeBron James. LeBron James, and yes, I get it. Kobe Bryant is definitely much more skilled than LeBron. But LeBron puts so much more pressure on your defense and i'm talking about athleticism getting to the rim i mean getting downhill he's a smarter basketball player than kobe bryant all right so what do i actually mean by that and i should have actually prepped for this video more i wanted to get some video clips to actually show you what i mean but i'm gonna revisit this in the next couple of days because i got some information over here on kobe bryant to actually because he, he acts like kobe bryant can actually go no wrong and, and, and listen, Kobe Bryant does have five rings. All right, so listen, basketball is a team sport. Kobe did not win those rings by himself, okay? As a matter of fact, Kobe was actually led by Shaquille O'Neal, 
Paul Gasol. LeBron led teams to actually win a championship. There's a difference over there. At all. There's no way you would watch Kobe play a basketball game. You watch LeBron James play a basketball game in their primes and say, you know what? LeBron is a better scorer. It means you don't watch basketball. And apparently, a lot of people that don't watch basketball that read stats, they, they put no value on the eye test, but I do. The eye test matters to me. I'm sorry. First of all... Oh, you mean the eye test of actually Kobe Bryant actually forcing up bad shots? The eye test of where Kobe Bryant would take a bad shot is 16 seconds on the shot clock. You have a teammate waving, yo, yo, wide open, wide open. I'm gonna get the video clips of uh, the next couple of videos, and Kobe Bryant just takes the shot. Now I can actually see if they were down, but I think they were up. The the clip that I actually saw, they were up by 12 something points. LeBron James actually makes the right play. And any one of you who actually really truly played basketball, it doesn't matter what level that you're actually on. And Mr. Charles would understand that if he actually truly played. What happens if you're playing with somebody and you know you're wide open a couple of times? This happens to me, it happens to everybody. You got a ball, you know, it's all about their ego, all about their stats, all about their numbers. You, do you really want to truly play like that? You, know, you could be wide open, then you know you don't get the basketball. And then you're mentally not really engaged in the game. So um, I don't know why I keep listening to 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 to, to uh, Dreamers Pro. I don't really get it. Yeah, I mean you want to climb Mount Everest, right? Do you want to have a guide that's actually 500 something pounds? To take you up Mount up up Mount Everest and back safely. <laughs> I mean seriously. And yes, they say, oh, Kobe Bryant was close to Jordan, so that actually makes him better than LeBron. All right, there is no other Michael Jordan. All right, right now the Chinese can actually make a replica BMW. Exactly. Oh, I'm sorry, a Bentley. Let's say a Bentley. They I mean they can they uh they can pretty much you know copy anything. They can make a replica Bentley. Is it was is it is it a real Bentley though? Because it wasn't made by the manufacturer. So start with this. Kobe was so close to Jordan, so that's why he's actually better. He's not MJ. All right, and that's a whole nother video. And and uh, this basketball IQ, it's on a whole nother level when it comes to Michael Jordan compared to Kobe Bryant. Kobe's first few years in the NBA. He didn't play. Kobe played 71 games the first year in the NBA, and he only started six of them. He was averaging 15 minutes a game. The next season, he played 79 games, and that was really his real season. That's the first thing. So you have those two first two years. Year one, he averages 7.6 points per game. Year two, he averages 15.4 good then the last three years of kobe bryant's career the last four no yeah the last four years of kobe's career what happened in the 2000 and uh yeah in the 2013-14 season kobe plays six games in those six games he averages 13.8 points per game on 29 percent shooting now why did he do that this is the question we gotta ask ourselves why did kobe bryant average 13.8 points per game when the year before, at the age of 34, he averaged 27.3 points per game while playing 78 games. How did that happen? You help it make sense to me. Did he just fall off a cliff? How do you go from averaging 27.3 points per game at the age of 34, going on 35, and in the very next season, you average 13.8? Help me understand it. What essentially happened was... Kobe tore his Achilles tendon at the age of 34. The next season, he only played six games and he had another setback, I think, with his shoulder. The very next season, he plays 35 games and the number jumps to 22 points. The next season, he was now a much older player and he averaged 
So you could actually remove five of Kobe's seasons, the first two seasons and the last three when he was a much older player suffering or dealing with career ending injuries, career, which LeBron has never had, never, never had. So if you look at Kobe Bryant's career in 15 years, when he was allowed to play and he was healthy, you go tell me what his average was. If it was 25 points a game, you go tell me. It's obvious, obviously not. And this is the reason why you can't just read stats. Stats have to have context to go with them. If they don't have a context, they make no sense. People use stats these days to make an argument without understanding that stats are used to support an argument, not make it. You're supposed to use reason and logic and stats should aid your argument. You can't use stats without context and, ma and make it seem like, well, these stats are supposed to explain away the context. It don't work like that. There was an example of this when, when Jackass was on ESPN during the segment with Tracy McGrady, and he was talking about players are more clutch than Kobe Bryant, and he had Dirk Davinsky more clutch than Kobe, and then he had a bench player coming off the bench that was more clutch than Tim Duncan. And Tracy McGrady was like, but wait a minute, your stats are saying that Dirk is more clutch than Kobe, but you're saying the guy that comes off the bench is more clutch than Dirk and Kobe? Help me make, help me make sense. And he couldn't explain it because he was just using stats and he wasn't using context. A guy that nobody double teams, nobody game plans for, has a higher percentage, so therefore he's a better player. That's the first part, and we haven't even started yet with this video. Now let's look at offense after I've given you guys some background to those numbers. You go do the average, and you tell me what Kobe's real averages will look like. That's the first thing. The second thing, let's look at offense. These people are looking at average scored and cumulative points. That's all they're looking at. That's all they're looking at. And by that logic, if we just use, for example, cumulative points, then you would say LeBron is a better scorer than Michael Jordan. Well, that'd be patently absurd, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't it be? Kobe Bryant. As a matter of fact, let's not even start with Kobe. Let's start with LeBron's offense. LeBron has a total of 73 40-point games in his career. That's a damn lot. That's a damn lot. But here's the problem. Kobe Bryant has 122 40-point games. What about 50-point games? LeBron has 14 50-point 50 50 games. How many wins? I mean, listen, you score 50-something points. I mean, a lot of those were, were losses, were L's, okay? And I'm going to get back to the analogy I was actually really using. Now, if you're going to start a team up, you know, with any player, let's say even in NBA history, let's even go on back to Wilt Chamberlain. Okay, is Kobe Bryant actually making your top five? If, he, if he's gonna be anywhere in your five, let's say you need a bench, you're gonna need five guys to actually come in and sub for those first five players. I mean, is Kobe Bryant actually really truly making again? Take the emotions out of it because my favorite player of all time is Jason Kidd, and I'm not hating towards Kobe. You know, me watching Kobe Bryant, right, taught me how to score. I used to watch Kobe and practice those moves out on the basketball court, you know? And I always say this, Kobe Bryant taught me how to be a good scorer. Watching Jason Kidd taught me how to actually play the damn game of basketball, okay? So I'm gonna let that marinate into and, and understand what I'm actually trying to say. Now, if I had, let's say if I'm starting a team, I need a point guard, you know, and I love Jason Kidd. I mean, he's, like I said, to this day, he is still my favorite player. And I had a choice to take Magic Johnson over Jason Kidd. I gotta take Magic Johnson. I mean, come on, yeah. come on. This is what I'm actually talking about. And this man over here that you actually see, Charleston, is a feminized man. I mean, just operates off of pure emotion, okay? And no logic whatsoever. And like I said, he's never played the game of basketball. When he actually said that, hey, 
that you can actually play with a back injury, I lost all serious kind of credibility for him right there. I was I'm like, I am done with this man. Done. He doesn't know anything. His, his, his thing was track and field. So I don't know why you guys actually really listen to him. I don't know if it's the delivery. Uh, uh, I don't get it. I honestly, truly, really don't get it. You know, a guy who's never played a lick of basketball is actually talking about basketball. <laughs> I just don't, I don't want to stand it. I want to hear from Boopers, Professor Live. I mean, um, I want to hear from like the, uh, Dante uh, uh, Frieda. I mean, on by guys who actually put the work in, you know, on a physical level, as as well as a mental level. So, all right, so that's gonna wrap up my video. I don't want this to really gotta kind of go too long, and there will be, you know, maybe in the, in the next couple of days I'll actually revisit this, and I want to go uh, uh, at Kobe's history and uh, the the. Uh, I mean, how he squandered the the, uh, the the time where you had Gary Gary Payton, Carl Malone, you know Shaq. How, how you don't win a championship with that? He took the most shots. He was being selfish. He didn't want to pass the ball. <laughs> I, and listen, LeBron James took the 07 and 08 Cleveland Cavaliers to the finals against the San Antonio Spurs. If you put Kobe Bryant in that position, they don't even make the playoffs. Because like I said, LeBron James passes the ball, you know, and if you know, even if the guys don't actually make the shots, they don't make the shots, at least they're now engaged, they get a feel for the basketball, and they actually want to really truly play. All right, so I want you guys to go out there, go play some basketball, and try to find, find a ball hog, and then see if you don't get touches, and see if you really want to truly actually play the game, if you not really feel like you know, you're know mentally incorporated into the game. All right, so I will wrap this video up. Like, comment, subscribe. Certainly share this video, and when you share, the universe certainly shares back with you.